Hello from Pastor Ken Harley in Hong Kong. We're on Romans chapter 3, verse 1. What advantage then is there being a Jew, or what value is there in circumcision? Much in every way, first of all, they have been entrusted with the very words of God. What if some did not have faith? Will their lack of faith nullify God's faithfulness? Not at all. Let God be true and every man a liar, as it is written, so that you may be proved right when you speak and prevail when you judge. But if our unrighteousness brings out God's righteousness more clearly, what shall we say? That God is unjust in bringing his wrath on us? I am using a human argument. Certainly not. If that were so, how could ju God judge the world? Someone might argue, if my falsehood enhances God's truthfulness and so increases his glory, why am I still condemned as a sinner? Why not say, as we are being slanderously reported as saying, and as some claim that we say, let us do evil that good may result. Their condemnation is deserved. Okay, that's verses 1 through 8 of chapter 3. An interesting point that I will bring across is we spend so much time focusing on God's wrath that everybody thinks that God maybe is this old man, but when it comes to sin, he's serious and he's going to kill us all with the lightning bolts. Okay, But Jesus in John 3.17 uh, is identified as he wishes that none would perish. The Father wishes that none would perish. So we're dealing with this um, part of uh, things where you have Jesus wishing and the Father wishing that none would perish, but the Father also knowing who will make the right decision to follow, who will make the decision of receiving God's love. Some people call that predestination, but... I just call it when you're God and you know the whole future and you work your butt off, you work yourself very, very hard to bring people to Jesus. You have the Holy Spirit come and every day bombard people with love, bombard people with hope. You've created human beings to receive through the image of God in them to receive all that is good, to desire all that is good, and yet still some people reject Jesus. Some people cannot believe that God is so good and loves them so much. And some Christians only talk about the wrath of God when the wrath of God is really the emptiness when God holds his love and allows what we truly deserve come upon us. Okay? So, Paul's saying in verse 1, there's no advantage in being a Jew or having circumcision. There's no advantage in us going to church and being a Christian and if we don't believe and if we don't act upon that faith. Now, Jesus the Holy Spirit, the Father, they will respond to us by not responding if we keep rejecting the drawings of the Holy Spirit. But what I don't understand, and maybe that's why I'm very much into Jesus right now, is how anybody can reject the good deal that Jesus gives us. He gives us love beyond measure, anything, anything we can imagine. He takes our dreams and He fulfills them. He shows us how to live more than ever can be imagined. And if we will open our mind and listen to the Holy Spirit and stop listening to the people who push us down into the back row of the church feeling guilty, we can do anything. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And even Paul says, People want to do evil, and they deserve condemnation because when you f truly experience the love of God and everything that Jesus offers us, eternity, a better life here, healing, beauty, truth.
true beauty to where we can enjoy everything in God's creation through Christ who leads us and guides us and loves us and is with us when, he cry, when we cry and when we're stuck and when we are just lost. And if people stay, it still stay. Let's keep sinning. God loves us. No wonder they're condemned. The condemnation is not the wrath that we think of lightning bolts. The condemnation is eventually the Holy Spirit stops. And we get what we deserve. And that's the true tragedy because Jesus has made it possible that we don't get what we deserve, but we get grace. End of part one, chapter one, three.